friends, welcome to In the Kitchen with Alice. We have a wonderful selection of fruits and vegetables here that I want to show you. Apples and lemons, parsley, celery, onions, and carrots. Here we have some nuts and a trail mix, some raisins, and some honey. For those who are not using such a sweetness as honey, you can always use something with a little less sweetness. A brown rice syrup makes a very nice addition to almost any dish. It brings out the sweetness of everything that's in the dish. Our new broadcast has been really lots of fun. We've tried some different dishes that people are not familiar with. We've used some fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, grains that people have not used before. And today I am really answering questions that are part of the questions that have come to me from my workshop participants. I have an ongoing 12 week workshop. You can sign up on my webpage at any time, Whole Life Wellness Seminars. And the ongoing workshop will take you through 12 weeks of a process that will change your life. If you have chronic conditions or anything that's emergent, some of the more uh, long-term illnesses that people are suffering with in America, these things can change by using fruits and vegetables in the diet. I promote, as do many people on the front line of healing these days, a mostly vegan plant-based diet. These things that are in the fruits and vegetables in the amounts that, they, that you find them in nature are the way that we need to be healed. It is not really about getting a bunch of supplements that take apart all the things in nature into small pieces and then we take those substances in. Those things are not really put together in a way that the body can assimilate well. But when you eat an apple, everything that is in the apple is made for human beings and to help them to heal. So when I use the freshest greens, our beautiful scallion and celery and parsley, I'm doing it because the greens are healing to the blood. They help the liver, which is an organ for our vitality. They help the blood, which is keeping us alive and keeping us in a certain balance. And all of the fruits, nuts, seeds, grains of a plant-based diet are the ingredients for really transforming your living. So today, I am answering the question, what can I eat? It does not take me a lot of time to prepare and that could give me some of the flavors I'm craving. Sometimes at night I need something that really addresses my taste buds. Perhaps we are looking for something dry and crunchy. Maybe even adding a little salt to something like nuts can help. Sometimes we're looking for something dry, crunchy with a little sweetness, in which case a beautiful trail mix like this one which I received at a health, local health food store, Richard's Whole Foods. Here on the west coast of Florida, Richard's has quite a number of stores. And this particular little piece of green, oh, I'm sorry, red, is a dried goji berry. And they have some wonderful Thompson raisins, which are of course grapes that are dried. And they have pine nuts and pumpkin seeds. And sometimes people put in a roasted element into a trail mix and then you get even more of just a little crunchy and salty. In this case someone has used some beautiful uh, soybeans and roasted them. So as you can see a variety of tastes is very very satisfying and when you come to the end of your day and you suddenly have these cravings it is because during the first part of your day in the middle part of your day you did not receive what your body is actually asking for. So by the time you get to your evening, you're really looking to up your carbohydrates, get a little sweetness, get some energy back, um, have something dry and crunchy, maybe even a little oily. Of course, all the nuts have those elements in them. They're bitter and crunchy and they have a wonderful amount of fat in them. Very, very helpful to us. So let's see what we will prepare today. Let's begin with an, a Waldorf salad. And I'm not going to make a huge amount because it's just my friend and I today uh, having this meal together. So I will just show you how to make a beautiful Waldorf salad that doesn't take long at all. 
I want to cut up my apple, put this piece in here, and leave the skin on the apple so that in your Waldorf salad you get the beautiful color of the inside of the apple and the beautiful color of the outside of the apple. And then when we chop it, you can just quickly chop it on its side like so. Mm -hmm. And we go ahead and put it here. Okay. Move the seeds out of the way if they come out of the floor. And chop up your apple pieces. And it's always nice in a salad of this kind to have a variety of colors. So I chose a green apple to give us a little bit of color that's different than the, the red apple. Okay. And the difference between a red and green apple is delightful to the tongue because a green apple will give you a bit of that sour taste that is also very, very delicious to add to a salad. And then you don't have one kind of sweetness in your salad, but you have that little bit of, of sour that comes with putting a green apple in. Then we add a few nuts to it. And we put a little lemon. You can pull out the seeds if you like, although it's harmless to have seeds in your salad. You want to squeeze your fresh lemon there. And I just want to say that if you're craving a sweeter dish, you can always drizzle a little bit of honey over the top of your dish. Just a very thin drizzle is very, very nice. The sweetness also of the raisins is delicious. And you can toss the salad like so. If you would like a drizzle of oil, sometimes people are craving a little bit of olive oil. And you can always add a little color with your greenery. And in this case, we want to mince it. So let's see if I can put this to the side so you can see clearly what I'm doing. And so I mince the green so it can spread throughout the salad and give that little bit of delicious bitterness that really adds to a dish. And what I really want to emphasize with this dish is although you have the craving for sweetness, sometimes there are other things that you are needing. And if you make a dish with this many different flavors, and I'll, I'll go over that a bit with you. So what do we have in this dish? We have the red apple sweetness. We have the sour of the green apple. We have a little sour of lemon. We have the bitter of nuts and this very different bitter of parsley. Now that is a very substantial dish. When one eats it, one is very satisfied. You'd think to yourself, well, what in the world would I need a fruit dish for? But you'd be surprised that this really gives you what you need. This is a, a wonderful meal. And what I wanna say about that is you can change it by drizzling honey if you crave more sweetness. Or you can change it up <clears throat> by adding the pungence of a scallion, believe it or not. Some people are craving that bitter pop that really adds a little zest, a little um, fun to a dish. And then in that case, you can go ahead and just go ahead and put in the scallions. Tear them apart if you didn't cut properly. Okay, there we go. And then stir again. And now you really have like five different flavors. So this will be very, very satisfying. And a beautiful, uh, a beautiful arrangement on a plate, really delightful. You can serve that up to your guests, your family. Okay. All right, on to our next dish. Our next dish involves the food processor. And with this, we want to, uh, in just a few moments, be able to put together a large quantity of something, but be able to do it in just a few moments. 
So if you've already scrubbed up your carrots, and I did want to show you a little of that, carrots have a lot of the beautiful nutrients in the skin. And they also have it at the end of the carrot. So you want to take off very little on the top and bottom. But this skin needs a real good scrub. And I had a friend um, crochet up some nylon scrubbies for me. And this gives a wonderful scrub to a carrot. Right inside all of the, the ridges of a carrot takes off all the dirt. So if you're doing this under running water, then you're really getting the dirt out of the skin. And then you don't have to worry about doing any uh, so scraping or, or our carrot peeling salad. and put our carrots into the food processor. And you'll see that in just moments, you can make quite a large portion. see that the food processor has created this lovely salad and that only took a few moments and what I want to say about the food processor is firstly they're inexpensive you can get them at almost any department store the food processor takes your vegetables and in just a few moments what did that take three minutes at the most to prepare your carrots and trim them and then put them through the food processor the Carrots are a delicious and very sweet salad. They're very, very satisfying. They're a root vegetable, and so they are very helpful to the nerves. And in our high-paced society, it is very nice to know about dishes that can be made in a very short time. The carrot salad is just one salad you can make quickly. If you took a slice, a, a hunk, of a green cabbage head and you put it through the food processor just the way I did this, you would come out with a coleslaw in moments. You could add a pretty kale to that. You could add any green vegetable to that and it will shred it and make a beautiful slaw. And then you could make a beautiful mayonnaise. And the mayonnaise doesn't need to be oil and egg, which is how the old fashioned uh, mayonnaise is made. That's the, the two basic ingredients of mayonnaise. But you can take your nuts and put them into a blender with a little bit of water and then add a little lemon and you can add sweetness to it. You know there are a lot of mayonnaise jars. If you read them, there are five ingredients of sweeteners in them. So if you want to add different flavors, you could even add a little mustard to your mayonnaise. And then you would take a scoop of your mayonnaise out of the blender, toss it in your salad, um, you could do a carrot salad with the mayonnaise, but particularly if you were making a coleslaw, you make a lovely coleslaw with a, a nut mayonnaise. And there will be a show upcoming in just the next few weeks where I will show how to make your own mayonnaise. Okay, so here we have the beginning. And I love to use lemon or lime in a carrot salad. So you just wanna squeeze it. So into your salad. Mm -hmm. Might as well add some raisins. Carrot salad is always very pretty with the raisins in it. Okay. Makes it look like Halloween a little. And then I always like to add the things that are similar to, a, to this Waldorf salad, the basis of other flavors. We always want to add a lot of flavors to our raw meals then you find the satisfaction that nature is really trying to give you and support you with instead of a five-piece steak or large baked potato with lots of sour cream and dishes with all kinds of cheeses and other meat dishes those meals are very very heavy and especially on the liver when you make a lovely dish where you have a little bit of the nut seed oils in a dish like this waldorf salad you're supporting the fat that you need every day. And the proteins are made from the amino acids of all these different ingredients. When you take them in in a plant base, they're in their amino acid form. When you take your proteins in through meat, 
the animal has already created the protein as a string of amino acids. So now you have to break them down and then you have the access to the amino acids you need to build your strength. So when we take it from the plants, it's more accessible to us. We don't have to go through so much of a process, which is one of the reasons why people are very, very tired. Their bodies are doing so much to break down the heavy foods they're eating. Here's our celery. Celery is full of sodium. It is a lovely plant, and I have chosen the inner portion of the celery. I took off the thicker stalks. I've already taken off most of its root, but if you cut it very close, the root actually has the good substance in it, so there's no problem with using it. And you can cut these up and put them in your carrot salad. It makes a nice crunchiness and it adds sodium. And when you have those different flavors of salt, sour, bitter, sweet, and pungent, you really feel the satisfaction of the plant-based foods. So I cut the, the bottoms here so they're a little thinner. And then we go ahead and give it a chop. And the colors of the different parts of a plant really add extra color to your, to your um, salad. Here we have the white, the stem and the celery. Okay, we can put that in. That adds sort of a brightness to the salad. In color and then as we go into the greener part and I chose the hearts of the celery because they're just a little bit more delicate so it's a really nice flavor a light flavor it's not quite as strong as the heavier pieces of celery and then if you really like a little bitter in your salad and the bitter of celery tops is very different than the bitter of parsley they taste completely differently. So there's no problem with putting two different kinds of bitter in your salad. So I won't put any more than that. It's very strong. Put that to the side here. And then once again, you give it a little toss. We can start to see that we've given a lot of variety to this already. Okay. And then I'd like to add some nuts to it, and a little bit of apple. Put this here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, and once again, this time I'm going to make them very, very thin. And the thinness of this is very nice because now when you cut it like so, you have little triangles of apple. And you put that in and you have little bits of red and, and uh, white. It's very pretty. Okay. Once again, a little more red to it. You can see we're really giving a lot more of an interest to the salad. And then a little bit of parsley is always nice. So I pick a few pieces. Choose mostly the, not so much the stems, but the greenery for a little color. And the nice thing about having a bitter flavor from the greenery of plants in your dish, including your grain dishes that you make grain salads with the next day, after you've cooked up a, a pot of rice or millet or any of the grains, the, the uh, bitter greens make a lovely addition to any dish, fresh or cooked, and really expand on the taste buds. It also gives a satisfaction to a person eating it because whether you know it or not, you're craving the things that are in the greens. And if you don't satisfy that, you will crave those things. Okay. Well, I think we have gotten to the end of this beautiful carrot salad. Pour a little onto our plate. That mixes it as well.
Now for people who are craving a very sweet salad, it would be very easy to drizzle, to drizzle some honey, a light drizzle of honey over the salad. Here it is. And uh, this is our Waldorf salad and this is our carrot salad. And you can see that although we've used similar ingredients, the flavors will be completely different. They will satisfy you in very, very different ways. So when you're sitting down at night to begin to have your dry, very thinly sliced potato chips that have been dipped in a lot of oil and a lot of sodium added to them, you might want to try satisfying those tastes by having the oil and the crunchiness and the bitter, which you're actually craving if you're craving the potatoes, um, in your nuts. And if you put your nuts with other things, you will find that your sweet tooth and your need for energy is also satisfied. So I hope that I have introduced you to some other ways to use the ingredients that I have shown you that include nuts and seeds, beans and uh, fruit, dry fruit, and also the vegetables. So have a wonderful day. I thank you for coming. I have a new ebook coming out very soon. And the ebook will take you through the 12 week process that I have been taking people through for years. And that 12 week process is really incorporating fruits and vegetables in your own diet more and more and more. Just one dish at a time, one juice at a time, one smoothie at a time, one dinner at a time. And those changes, believe it or not, will show up in your face, they'll show up in your energy and life. And I look forward to having more sessions with you. I look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you so much for coming out.